Yo, what's good? It's Juice World, and we here at the Double XL Fall Cover Show. Let's get it. Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, Michael Comrie here, stylist on the shoot today. We're gonna go over some of the clothes. This is actually gonna be our hero look. We have a vintage punk jacket. This is from a shop called Desk Control on 7th Street in Los Angeles. They've just got a bunch of old. I'm gonna pair that with some sous vide denim. And again, a vintage punk belt. We got our shoes here, some monk straps, and this is from No List. They're a brand new uh, label out of Los Angeles. Our second piece here is really special. So it's from a brand out of Portland called Last Heavy, they're really good friends of ours. They actually put this together uh, overnight. We got it at 8 a.m. this morning. Um, they, they literally had less than 24 hours put together. It's full custom. We see we have logo work here, uh, custom graphics, everything. And then we have a corresponding pant with it too. So that's gonna be a key fit for us today. So Juice, uh, basically all these pieces so far, the ones we have here at the front are kind of his favorites. But again, you can see we've got about $100,000 worth of clothes on this rack, so a lot of stuff to try. So we have a Marnie sweater from our friends over at Departamento. Yeah. Beautiful mohair, like 90s vibe. Yeah. We got this new Rue t-shirt. Yeah. Our sous vide denim. Yeah, and we got no list sneakers straight from Los Angeles here. Yeah. Oh, this is my brother T.Y. This is Chris No Jumper, aka I love you so much. I love you so much. <laughs> this Mr. Mr. Fast back with it. No, this is Chris. That's Neil. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Sean, super fast. Pack. My cousin Sean, they best friends. They were best friends like since childhood. They older me. But like when I was little, I was hanging out with like both of them. Bro. And then this is homie Joe. I was hanging out with him. So, Dragon Ball Z and uh, yeah. <laughs> this I know because it was just all at once. Um, this was two hundred and fifty thousand. I bought it because this is the second watch I bought. The first, bought. the first watch I bought was actually a one of one. Ain't nobody else that had it. It was a two-tone skeleton. Uh, it was an AP also. But it wasn't like baguette. It wasn't no baguettes on another. It was just like diamond cuts, like just you know, small diamonds all over. And I was making raps about that watch because my homie uh, Sizzle had told me, oh uh, yeah, that. He said something about a two-tone scouts in AP, I know why I ain't do it. So like I went and did it. And then like on this watch, it's just like an AP, just like a all the guys. I just bought it because it was on. Um, I had the first watch for a while and I was just accomplished a lot of things. Still am accomplishing a lot of things, but like that was just a, a reward for me at the moment, just accomplishing all the things I was accomplishing. It's like motivation too though, just like. I, he was able to pay for this, you know, and you couldn't even, you know what I'm saying, you couldn't even get no pair of jewelry. So like, I, everything, every, I feel like any jewelry that I have means something, in a way. Not everything gotta be no cliche, fake, woke, deep ass shit, but it means something, in a way. It's, it's personal type shit. 